but um, we were within within range and then got the first down. Um, but uh, that, that was really kind of the thought process. How did you think Trevor played? And, and just how many plays did you feel like you had at the end of running over time, getting all the plays you had? All the plays. I'm sorry. That, All the plays you guys played were at the regulation. But how did you think Trouble? I thought Trouble played really well. Um, you know, one play along the sideline where you know maybe it was an interception. The ball went out of bounds. But I thought he protected the football. I thought he pulled the da- ball down when they went to run. Um, you know, they've. Uh, I thought I thought he converted third downs. I thought he was hot in the first half. He thought he ran the football. You know, we didn't call a lot of designed quarterback runs or anything like that. But he. Um, he was uh, doing a nice job, in my opinion, of just if he wasn't there, pulling the ball down and going. So, um, you know, obviously we had to hit a little bit of a lull there at the beginning of the second half. Um, that's, you know, kind of watching them. That's kind of what they've done to people. And, um, um, but found a way at the end to go make some plays. So for his first start for us, you know, this year, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was really something to build on. Coach, what was, the, what was the biggest issues, I guess, where, you know, you score 14 right away and there's that ball, like you said, just what was going on? Yeah, you know, I think I think we moved the football. We moved the ball, ball down. Had fourth and one. Um, didn't get the fourth and one. Um, this was a game like I thought. You know, hey, I'm gonna probably collect points, but you know, basically, there's there's not an analytic that doesn't say to go for them fourth and one, and it's really less than one. So disappointed that you know we didn't get that. That's a, that's a play that you know to win these games, come to Madison, win these games. I think you got to get. Um, I think that certainly would have. Helped us, right? You know, it's like it's it's fourteen nothing. Yeah, I think it was fourteen nothing. Forgive me if I'm off, but fourteen nothing. You get that fourth and one. All of a sudden now, you know that's kind of that can kind of sometimes be the backbreaker. And plus, we're still a little bit further out. Um, come down at the end, you, you go to kick the field goal at the end. You know, you take one shot. Um, you know, try Malachi in the corner out. Um, it's not caught. You go to kick the field goal. It's not quite there. So. Um, I thought I thought those things were pretty good, you know. And then you know, just unfortunately, some of the plays we tried to be aggressive on, you know, um, you know, run a reverse, they hit it, hit it for a loss, you know. Uh, wanted to give the guys a chance to make some plays, um, and uh, just didn't quite make them. So uh, a lot of the ball game was being played because some of their punt returns on our side of the field. So a couple times, you know, I punted even with seven minutes left. You know, that's that's a tough decision right there analytically. Like you know, it, the book probably says to go for it. But I punted it, trusting our defense, and then we get the ball back, and we did. So, um, you know, I made some made some tough calls there. Um, but I think overall, I mean, I, I, they came out early on. They had some different things they did defensively. We really hurt those things, and they went back to kind of what they do. Um, some of the corner pressures bothered us, but I thought we made plays. And then just at the even at the end, I mean, those last three plays, right? You know, we went a quarterback draw with an RPO. Corner comes, he side adjusts it. Uh, the guy knocks it down. Uh, ball's just off Malachi's hands. Ball's just off Jalen's hands. So I think you saw a lot of things from Chuba in terms of uh, his willingness to stand in there and compete. And so, um, you know, we've got one game left. Um, I would I would love to see those guys. You know, I think we put a, the, the tough thing. It's hard to say this when you lose, right? But you're pulling, we're pulling a lot of things together. You know, the quarterbacks, you know, I, I don't know. Do we have a turnover tonight? You know, yeah. Yeah, the, at the end, yeah. So, but you know, in terms of throughout the course of the game, I thought we pr- protected the football, and um, but just wasn't quite enough. I mean, he, he could he could go. Like it's kind of like I said to you guys on Thursday. Like he was in uniform, um, just uh, you know hadn't really practiced, you know, and just kind of been out there on a limited basis. So it made sense to put Chubb out there and, and let him play. And um, 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 you know, I thought he had a good week, and I liked the way he looked last week, and I, he certainly came out like gangbusters and um, got us going. But I think even in the interim on the plays where you know we didn't quite get, I wouldn't put any of that on him. I thought he thought he did a really nice job tonight. I, how much did Mordecai hurt you guys? I think that's really when you go back and look at it, right? Um, and, and the drives, you know, the drives now run together for me. But you know, we have the, it's the, the touchdown drive. I think to, for them to take the lead, it's like second and eighteen, and we blitz and we hit him, and he, and he shakes us off and runs. Um, you know, we're a, we're a team that prides itself on our defense, and the defense prides itself on tackling. And um, you know, reverse that play. A lot of guys uh, had opportunities to make some of those plays, and so you know, you talk about we talk. About, Sometimes we always we talk about momentum. We talk a lot about the offense and all those things. To me, defense. You know, we 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 could use a uh, you know a, a sack fumble. Uh, um, he ran a lot of quarterback draws tonight. Uh, you know, Tony was blitzing them. He was twisting them. You know, we we um, would love to come off and make a play on one of those plays. So uh, credit to them. No credit to Tanner. You know, he 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 made the plays at the end. I mean. Um, it was, you know, when you think about it, it was a quarterback draw at the end that, that won the game for them in overtime that got him down there. And so that's, uh, that'll be frustrating for us. You know, I mean, I thought we did a good job of stopping, like, the downhill runs. But uh, Allen ran hard, and um, they made just enough plays on third downs. Was that, a, was that a, on that third down call, was that uh, 
it wasn't a blitz, but what was the third down call when more guy went right up the defense? I, I don't. I can't. I can't remember that right now. I'm sorry. Um, the, you're talking about the, the the very last one. Yeah, I, I I don't remember what it was. I'd hate to say that to you. Pretty much everything down the stretch was some version of a twist or a pressure, um, just because of kind of the, the number one play we were trying to stop after a while was just a quarterback draw. And I thought he did a nice job. You know, six hit us across the middle several times, and man, so they, they made some they made the plays down the stretch. I mean, they you know the, he's played a lot of football. He's in his sixth year. Um, he came out to compete, playing with a broken hand, and he competed and he made plays. So I got to give him a lot of credit. What are the challenges now of just coming back, turning on a short week, getting back late, having to get your guys ready for another rivalry-type game the weekend up front? Yeah, I mean, these guys are pretty crushed right now. Um, they're pretty crushed um, emotionally. And, um, you know, but, but, but that, you know, that's okay. It, it shows that they care. And it shows that they put a lot into it. And, um, you know, sometimes, sometimes in life, you know, we give up on our dreams, but the dreams never give up. You know, our dream never gives up on us. That's one thing I've always believed. And so, you know, I'd love nothing more than to go out there with them on senior senior day and go battle a great Iowa team, a ranked team, and play them at home and try to go get a six win and go to a bowl game and extend this for these guys. Um, but even if it doesn't work out, I'm honored. I'm honored to take the field with those seniors. And I'm honored to be out there with them. And, um, you know, they've, they've, they've wanted to win. And obviously when you want to win, you want to be tangible. But there are a lot of guys have done so many good things. And so um, we're, we're, you know, down the stretch, those last two balls, you think about those last two balls, the last three balls, right? They get thrown to two true freshmen in Malachi and Jalen. And I put mom around Jalen. You know, I was like, I was like, you, you, those play, that play's gonna come to you a thousand times, and you'll make it. Um, but those seniors are the ones who've built a culture where, you know, where Gifford runs out and puts his arm around Jalen Lloyd. Um, so I'd love to see these guys go play one last game. I'd love to see them, you know, shoot. At the end of the day, we're five and six with a chance to, with a chance to go be bowl eligible, play a great Iowa team. I'm excited for them. We'll bounce back. When, you know, these, these guys they don't quit, and. Um, but they are hurting right now, and uh, they are they are hurting right now, both physically and emotionally. And um, but you know what? As I said, that's okay. It's part of life. You got you got. We have to learn to not shy away from that, lean into it. And I bet you, I you know, I was a really good team. I bet you these guys bounce back and they they, they play hard on Friday. You mentioned that, that fourth down decision early in the second quarter where you didn't get it, and it just seemed like a moment in the game after that where Wisconsin kind of took some momentum. They had a touchdown drive after that. Did you, have you seen your guys? Did you see your guys in that moment not react the way that you want to something that doesn't that goes against them? I mean, it was obviously it was fourteen nothing. Everything was going your way until about that time. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I I, I didn't feel that. I mean, I think. Um, I think, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, it, it comes down to tackling, right? Like, I mean, like, you make a tackle, you make a block, you cover a guy. Like, you know, I don't, I didn't think there was any lack of emotion or passion out there. I mean, I mean, our guys, you know, we, we lost a lot of guys during the game. Guys were stepping up. You know, we had, you know, you have, you have a true freshman out there who's redshirting, returning kicks. I mean, there's a lot of guys out there playing it on the line. So, um, I think, I, I honestly think that our guys like it when we go for it. They like, they like feeling like, hey, we're trying to win the game, you know? So, um, you know, there's nothing that, you know, there's nothing that I think they would, you know, that, that, that said that. I just think, I think, you know, you're facing a, a Wisconsin team that, I mean, what was the final score of the game, guys? 24-7? Yeah, I mean, take out overtime. They give it, I mean, our guys on defense probably don't feel great about the game. They give up 17 points, you know, to a team that knows how to score. I mean, you know, um, shoot, I, that, I think they just, just, they made a couple plays and, you know, we went into the lead, uh, we went into the lead at uh, halftime. In the halftime with the league, excuse me, um, it's really more to me about uh, just in the second half, just just making a couple of plays. I think they found some things that bothered us and uh, tempo runs with uh, you know some some routes and some shifts and um, you know Phil Longo is a great offensive coordinator. They did some really good things, but I think Tanner made a bunch of plays. So I I didn't feel that. I just thought that was part of the back and forth of the game. Like to me, like the, I always knew the game was going to come down to the last. I mean, I say that thing that every week. Like, you guys, are, I'm like, guys, we're going to play the game. It's going to come down to the very end. You know, like Luke, Luke, Nick comes through on the sack on second down, runs the guy over, you know, kind of gets tripped up. He sacks that guy all of a sudden out of field goal range, and the, it doesn't overtime changes, right? Like to me, it just came down to one play, uh, very simply one play. And um, uh, unfortunately, you know, they, they made that play. Credit to them. But we'll be back, and we'll, and we'll, we'll make those plays many more times than we don't. Thanks, guys.